Well, here we go. Um, bottom of Old Market Street, um, out the top end of Lower Castle Street, and Tower Hill in front of us. And that's the uh, now the tallest building in Bristol. Um, in front over there, uh, that's Castle Park. And I've not been down this way on foot for many a year. So there we go. I'm going to have a wander forward. Might take a few more pictures on the way through. But uh, interesting. How went about in Bristol? Here we go. Castle Park on a Saturday afternoon. Can't say much more than this. Um, Bristol's best, I suppose. Anyway, I'm heading now towards uh, Bristol Bridge. And from there, Reckless Street. So, watch this space. Well, there we go, across the river. It's not a river, it's a floating harbour. It's what used to be Courage's Brewery. Um, Left-handed giant, that's a, a brewery. Um, wine bar, the wellhead, so on and so forth. Clark Wilmot. Um, a lot of it has changed. I used to work down here uh, as a maintenance engineer for BT, but uh, all changed. Castle Park. All this was housing and shops until the Germans bombed it in '41. So. Uh, I've already mentioned um, that building there. It's now currently the tallest building in Bristol. Uh, I think only because that bit on the top with nothing in it. Prior to that, the one further over, which you can see in the centre of the picture now, um, Castlemead, uh, British Telecom, had the top two floors of that. Not anymore. It certainly won't be once BT uh, get rid of everything else. So, onward and upward. In front of us over there is Bristol Bridge. Um, you can't drive across it anymore. Buses, taxis and, thankfully, motorcycles only. So, uh, that's where I'm heading and that's where I will uh, follow up this video. The building in front there, uh, with all the spraying on it, that was um, Norwich Union Insurance. Used to go in there and uh, insure my insure my motorbike. There lies another story. They had me down as being 58, and I had cheap insurance on me on the 250. The fact of the matter is, I was born in 58. Bloke looked at me, looked at the policy, and uh, had like a, 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 a double price rise immediately. Somebody had cocked up somewhere. Anyway, looking back the other way, back towards uh, the end of Castle Park, um, this bit along here, uh, buildings prior to the air raid in 41, um, there were buildings right up to the edge of the wall you see going up alongside the floating harbour. But uh, the whole lot got flattened. Uh, it's not there no more. So uh, that's it. Um, you can just see through the trees uh, the church of St Mary Laporte. Um, not in use, hasn't been for donkey's years. So uh, watch this space. New buildings going up and uh, We'll see if they reinstate it. Well, I'm now still on Bristol Bridge, um, which is on the end of Victoria Street, on the junction of Baldwin Street. And across there, you see the fish bar and restaurant. Um, it's the glass boat. Behind that is uh, the Brigstow Hotel. It used to be called Brigstow House. 
And for those of you that remember um, when the BT gas, water, uh, electric shares, everything went online, uh, you had to phone a number 0272 272 272. There were 360 uh, phone lines going in that building, fed off the central telephone exchange, and I was on call out for that. Um, some nights, three call outs at three hours pay a time, bell not ringing, the agents had turned the bell off, faint transmission, it was a Tribune phone with the volume turned down, and no dial tone was usually where the agents had unplugged the phone from the socket underneath. Made a lot of money, me and a mate of mine. But uh, long gone are those days. Anyway, um, over there, St Nicholas Church. I'm told, I can't prove it, but the only uh, church clock in the country with a second hand. Um, that I shall have to look up. Uh, the pub in front of us, Brewdog. Uh, not called that years ago, but uh, student flats on top. And the rest of the docks, or as its proper name is, the Floating Harbour. Uh, the bridge you see in the distance is Redcliffe Bridge, which is a bascule bridge. Uh, not very often you see it lifted very no very much nowadays, but um, beyond that, that takes you around towards uh, the main part of the city docks. Anyway, I'm heading over that way. There we go. See that Heineken umbrella. That's where I'm heading. Anyway, you might see some more video from me down there in a minute. <laughs> well, across the river there. Uh, it's not the river, it's the floating harbour. Uh, what you see over there, um, you can just about see the hotel on it. That's the Brigstow Hotel. Um, you can't book a, a room there uh, for the best part of, well, 12 months. It's been uh, open to people from elsewhere who've probably come across the channel on little boats. I'll leave that as it stands. Uh, the tall building there was D block of Telephone House. The other building to the left slightly, uh, that's A and B blocks of what was Telephone House. And behind those trees is C Block. That's where the British Telecom Social Club used to be. And uh, then you've got various other stuff along there. Very trendy place to be is the centre of Bristol, especially the docks. But there we go. And rattling on in the background, you can hear the pipes and drums of the Orange Marks that's going on today.